and welcome back everyone. Today I'm on location here at Black Oak East Park. Uh, it's a small little nature park, about 25 acres total, um, that's situated in this middle of this neighborhood. Um, there's actually no on-site parking and you have to park in the street. Um, it's kind of weird because at first I was a little confused I guess to say the least because it is just nestled in between. Um, it's like an open kind of grassy lawn uh, space with a little bench over here and there's some woods and trail. And um, yeah, as I was making my way to the location, um, you park in the street and it's right in between two houses which makes me think it would just be you know part of one one or the other's property but you know it's pretty neat now i'm actually in it it's like it just feels like a whole nother world um as i'm like deep in this woodland here very beautiful um lots of on the lower canopy at least green leaves and foliage is finally coming back for spring here and um so the higher canopy the upper canopy uh still hasn't quite gotten their leaves yet but yeah this this lower part of the woods here um definitely has and so yeah, I'm here for the morning. Uh, it's a nice quiet morning. Um, it's gonna be very overcast lighting uh, with some kind of just different spots of maybe some sun breaking through, um, which means it's gonna be great, which means I can spend as much time as I need to and hopefully get some great photographs in that very nice diffused light that you know I so much crave. Um, so yeah, but it's a real small location, like I said, 25 acres. And so, you know, it's not really too much to see, but you know, this is my first actual visit here. Um, so I have a kind of good grasp, I think, of what to expect. Basically, in short, uh, it's a big long corridor um, with just like a one-way trail that takes you on both ends, I believe. Um, and I can hear it from actually over here, uh, but downhill uh, right behind me uh, is where the creek actually flows through. I believe it's the Sugar Creek. And so, um, yeah, that's going to be pretty neat to see. That might be a, a potential photo now that the lower canopy has all the green leaves and uh, could do maybe potentially a long exposure um, because I do love uh, doing some spring and summertime uh, long exposures. And so, and creeks are one of my favorite, of course, waterways. Um, so that might be an idea at least. Um, other than that, you know, maybe we got some spring birds today. I'm hearing plenty of them so far. I uh, probably heard about seven or eight, both heard and seen them as well. And I've only been here for a few minutes. So that's you know, pretty good. It's a pretty good amount, I think, overall. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a nice little visit. Um, this actually neighbors Bill Yek Park, which is another uh, on location video I filmed for this series um, way back when. And so it's actually just, uh, south of here, so um, I'm not sure if they're directly connected um, You might have to cross the creek to really you know kind of access that even if you're allowed to that is um, But you know that is an option um, if you want to go hike in this general area as well, so Yeah, it's gonna be pretty neat um, So I'm gonna just kind of mosey my way along the trail here. i um, seen some garlic mustard leaves I'm um, growing already um, since they're a pretty invasive plant. So, so it's a no-go, but I've, I've also photographed those previously um, so that subject, I think, for today is out of the question. Unless if I really just can't find anything else to photograph. But, you know, there's lots of this nice, beautiful woodland um, in, here in early spring. And um, I'm no doubt going to find something, I think. Um, and like I said, it'll probably be the creek. But, you know, that's the one subject I'm going to kind of aim for, I guess, right now. And um, anything else, you know, before or after or in between, you know. We'll see. You know, keep the mind open to anything. Uh, creatively speaking and any different kind of possibilities and subject matter. So yeah, I think that's enough about this location uh, so far So I'm gonna keep hiking along here and uh, hopefully get some photographs today. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for a uh, photographic subject, um, at least at this point. Um, I thought I reached like the, I guess the one far end of one of the ends basically. Like I said, it's a very just skinny narrow green space uh, basically of a nature park. And I thought I reached the one end, but then I crossed over the creek right over here with just a few stones right here. And um, which is very beautiful by the way. It's got a very vibrant kind of greenish bluish color. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of like the local. A nearby city and like maybe some kind of sewage runoff. I don't know, but yeah, it's just a very like beautiful color um, I just don't know if it's like, you know, like a clean natural water Probably not, but you know anyways um, 
And so I'm thinking, it's just the problem is all the lights just starting to, you know, pick up in intensity and everything. At least it will eventually. Um, just because there's enough clouds over here uh, where the sun rose over here to the east. And so um, I have enough window of time. But yeah, it's just already hitting the upper canopy of the trees, which I, I like that kind of nice transition from the uh, more shadowed area down here where I am, obviously, because I'm now on lower elevation of the creek, uh, at least alongside it. And so it's, you know, the light hasn't quite struck this bottom part. Um, but yeah, it's all the way at the top. And um, so that means, you know, probably my time with that is limited, especially if I'm going to do like a creek long exposure. Um, so I definitely don't want to do that with, you know, the harsher kind of you know, morning light, I guess, if it's just bright and sunny and everything. Um, but yeah, I crossed this creek anyways, like I was saying. I crossed this creek um, and I found an, actually another spur kind of side trail over here. Um, so I have yet to check it out, but we'll go down here and see just how far this little 25 acre park goes. Um, and hopefully something else kind of reaches out to me. But yeah, I'm seeing lots of ephemeral flowers, of course. Um, lots of buttercups growing alongside uh, the creek here. And yeah, I'm also seeing uh, cutleaf, two fort. Um, also just some other kind of smaller violets. And just other typical, you know, spring flowers. Um, at least here in early spring, of course. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's just a nice beautiful scenic location and it's, it's really neat how it's just nice and quiet um, Being you know in the middle of this neighborhood and everything in the middle of this pretty busy city um, But yeah, there's just minimal traffic and noise off in the distance and that's pretty much it You know, so it's nice and quiet and um, I feel like because you know, it's not really like a really Big park, you know with a, like a parking lot or everything. I don't feel like most people really know it's here at all really or even go here at all um, so yeah, it's just a nice kind of secluded spot um, but yeah for photography purposes it's it's really a toss-up right now and um, you know spring brings a lot of photographic subjects here in nature um, but it's just a matter of my kind of just motivation I guess to get a shot because I almost did over top of this creek here I'm um, just standing on a rock center in the middle um, just like a flat stone slab and just taking some shots a long exposure with that neat perspective of being right in the middle of it um, but you know, it's just not I don't feel like it's gonna work um, in this case or it's not gonna be worth You know, take out, you know, the, I may have the camera right here, but you know switching lenses and all that stuff and uh, Getting it ready and everything so I wasn't really sure if that's really the, the best approach right now But um, I can see the, the sun starting to really peek through uh, the trees now and the leaves and you know, just bright sunbeams, but it's getting already lower as the Sun gets higher and higher obviously the sunlight's getting lower and lower and it's starting to reach down here my way and so I don't know but the more I talk the more I am uh, for lack of a better way of saying it wasting time and so but I, I guess I want to share my uh, uh, dilemma I guess a little bit you know so yeah I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do here like I said I'm just kind of throwing myself into this new location but um, fortunately it's pretty small like I said uh, very small 25 acres and so, yeah, it was nice. It's like an open field or a clearing down there. So this might be the end of it, um, honestly. It's a beautiful location, though. It's very, very reminiscent of Bill Yek Park, like I said, which is next door. Pretty much this, this smaller little park. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now and uh, see if I can see the rest of the park here and see if there is a photograph in mind. And if so, I'll get back to you. Yeah, the path just kept going until it led me to um, one of the city roads over here. Um, I believe on the western end. Um, so I found this constructed wetland, which is pretty cool. And the sunlight's just way too bright now. Um, so it probably looks, if I go all the way back to the actual um, Black Oak East proper, uh, it probably is way up, you know, just drowning in sunlight. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do here for a shot. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. It's pretty neat though. It's pretty neat seeing all this different trail. Um, I just, I just kind of kept following it, you know, kind of like a little accident, happy accident. 
and so yeah small constructed wetland uh, some kind of rolling hills and so I'm just like right along in between these neighborhoods too and stuff is it it's pretty neat to see it and just the morning dew and just listening to the spring birds and everything uh, as the sun the sun rose higher and everything and the, the morning began but um yeah it worked out pretty well I think I guess it's a neat little experience just to see all this especially that little wetland pond like I said with some kind of you know sedge grasses and cattails and uh just yeah looking pretty nice and actually I'm coming back on it right now and all these winding creek views this little wooden bridge and it's all to myself <laughs> so that's pretty nice it's pretty nice overall um so yeah from here I think I'm going back now um I also saw two deer up here um, just before I reached the wetland but um yeah I'm gonna make my way back and I'm gonna see what the uh eastern end the other end of Black Oak East has so it should be pretty cool um hopefully it's as great as this hall was and um yeah see you in a bit so I apologize if this video seems very scattered um I don't know where my head's at but honestly uh but there's just lots of stuff going on just because it's spring and maybe i'm just quite simply overwhelmed just because it is a pretty new location um for me and it's a lot bigger than i thought too i'm really quite surprised by it a lot more to see um i wasn't really quite sure what to expect um, anyways um so yeah i mean i found this beautiful little just curve in the creek here with some kind of babbling brooks over here um and it's just a be very beautiful just like setting and backdrop um, it's nice just dramatic tree reflections um, as they're just kind of standing and you know crooked over the top of the creek there but it's just the light's pretty harsh now and i don't really like the spotlight kind of effect that it does onto uh pretty much everything around it in the landscape here um so yeah i i don't know if i'm gonna take a shot here i might might do it it depends it's not like it's gonna be blown out highlights because obviously i'll expose and adjust accordingly um but it's just i don't know if i'm really gonna like the results enough to even just think it's worthwhile um, and I'm trying to, you know, be much more uh, choosy and selective with my photography in general. Uh, quality over quantity, I guess, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I love my telephoto lens in the car. So, I mean, wildlife is really out of the question. And I'm quite a ways away from it still, um, from where I started for the day. But I did see uh, my first of the season, uh, Ruby Crown Kinglet, which is awesome. That's, that's definitely going to be the highlight for today, I think, overall. Not just birds, but everything else. And I uh, saw a couple of them actually, which is pretty neat. Yeah, in the same setting, the same backdrop over here. Um, just saw them kind of flitting about in the small little trees and shrubs uh, just right next to the waterway over here. Um, and they're, they're a very small, tiny, hyperactive bird. So they're always just need, need tons of energy and food. So they're always on the hunt basically for berries and other uh, just plant material to eat. And so they're bouncing around these trees, these tree branches like pretty fast. So, I mean, getting a photograph would be pretty tricky, I think. Um, I've tried it before even when they're really close up because they're, they're pretty social birds and they're, they're really quite fearless for how small they are. So, I mean, they'll get up real close to you and not even care um, just because of how small and fast they are. Um, but, you know, like I said, it was just nice viewing them through the binoculars and just kind of observing them as they kind of just flip back and forth and everything and bounce around. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Probably the highlight for today, honestly. Um, just I haven't taken a single shot. I haven't even turned on my camera, honestly. And so, yeah, I'm kind of just at a loss for words honestly of what to do here and there's still quite a bit to go though so um try not to give up too soon but um you know the lights the lighting's only gonna get more harsh and everything from here on out and so you know i guess my time's limited i guess so to speak but anyways yeah so that was, that was a cool little moment there um i also saw my first of the season woodland flocks which is pretty cool little um spring flower that comes out Pretty much in a April and May, it's kind of like the peak time for it to bloom. Um, so I, nice, I saw a nice decent stain of that over at the far end right before I turned around at that uh, city road and you know came back into the park here. Um, so other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to keep going here and um, hopefully maybe take a photograph. If not, you know, it's whatever. You know, I'm just playing, be playing more spring days like this where there'll be tons of bird species and flowers and better lighting of course that you know probably would motivate me more to uh, take some more images here of course so yeah let's go ahead and keep going here all right so i'm putting my foot down i'm trying out this subject here uh of the creek here uh it's a different view than uh what i saw previously because obviously i was coming this way 
um, now that I'm making my way back to the, the start over here. So I didn't really turn my back and you know, look at what, really what was behind me here um, as I left this uh, creek crossing. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, it's it's pretty neat kind of little scene here. It just winds right through the kind of the entire landscape in front of me here. And with a 24 millimeter focal length, uh, that really encompasses everything because that's a pretty wide uh, focal length, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's got a nice pleasing kind of aesthetic and uh, S curve to it. And there's some uh, just kind of some stones off to the side, kind of like a little beach side um, that kind of wraps around it um, over there. It kind of leans more towards the uh, right side on. The images I'm taking here at least so I'm taking two sets of brackets um, just my typical I'm exposing for this guy um, since there is a lot of plentiful sunlight up there it's pretty easy to overexpose so I'm doing that and then I am exposing for pretty much the rest of the entire uh, scene in front of me here um, so that includes all the stones uh, just the small bits of spotlight which um, are really minimal at least um, in the shots I took it's starting to get a little more harsh right now um, as the sun's just positioning itself in certain different ways and it's breaking that sunlight right through all the trees are obscuring it basically and so yeah it's, it's exposing all that um, it's getting the nice green foliage which really the green foliage really makes it for me I think um, it's not so much the water even though it is technically a longer exposure um, you're really not seeing that flow quite as well um, just because it's not really like a big like white water scene uh, in front of me here and so it's just a nice calm scene um, of showing the lower canopy and the green foliage of here of early spring and it shows just a little bits of the uh, top of the treetops there um, that are still, like I said, bare, at least for uh, April here in spring. And so, yeah, I feel like it worked out pretty well. Um, the sunlight actually works in the favor, in my favor for this instance, of um, illuminating the green and just the vibrant greens of the, the leaves on the lower canopy of the trees here. Um, so I feel like it's going to actually work out pretty well here. Um, so doing some HDR, long exposure photography is always fun. And um, so, yeah, I feel like they worked out pretty well here. And so, and the scene's pretty neat. Um, I got the the kind of crossing, I guess you could say, um, that I used to get over here. And it just kind of leads you right across the entire scene here, um, starting from the left side and then just going diagonally to, towards the right. Um, so when it comes to aspect ratio and cropping, I may crop uh, later on in post-production. I'm not too sure yet. Um, and I might even need to just squeeze the entire scene a little bit, uh, just more inwards, I guess, um, just because it is a pretty wide scene. And I'm already noticing a couple of distractions over here, um, which there's a little, looks like a little pinkish red uh, ribbon that's, you know, tied onto one of the tree branches. Um, that could be a very obvious distraction. And that bright kind of red, you know, warmer color, I guess, would just be really distracting in the, this entire scene, which is predominantly cooler colors in this case. Um, there's also some kind of trash over here that's hanging off a tree branch uh, that's hanging directly over the creek here and over the water. So um, I'm not sure if I'm really going to see if I can get that off. Um, but I may actually try for this little um, ribbon over here. Let's see if I can actually get it. Um, maybe just cut it off or something. I don't know. So yeah, um, yeah, it worked out pretty well though. I really liked this nice little scene here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take any other images of it. You know, so I took two sets of brackets. I'm uh, taking about two or three uh, different bracketed exposures each, and um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend those in post production. I uh, might even try some like luminosity mass and stuff like that or I just may just compile them into my HDR photo editor and um, see how well they turn out I guess but yeah it's a pretty nice little scene here um, nothing too crazy going on but you know it's just a nice way to document the day and um, this now place I've been to finally which is pretty neat all right so on second thought I think I'm just gonna end the video here it's probably gone lo way long enough and um, it's been a lot of weird aimlessly wandering and um, all that sort it's been quite a winding adventure I think overall um, so if you've sit, stick around for this long, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, got this nice little simple creek image. Um, nice early spring here. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season and the year. You know, and just all the different, you know, things we'll see out here. So um, it's pretty nice to get out to new locations like this, especially uh, nearby to where I live and um, to explore them finally. So yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching everyone. Some Black Oak East Park. Until next time, make sure to get out here. Thank you.